I am Akhil Shrivastav and I welcome you all in the daily weather briefing of Indian Meteorological Department. In this weather briefing, we will see how was the weather during past 24 hours and what we expect in terms of weather in the coming next one week. If we see the main highlights for today, then we can see that the southwest monsoon has further advanced to some more regions. It has covered the Kerala today and most parts of the northeastern states of the country. Also, the heat wave conditions, they are expected like to continue over Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana during next two to three days. Apart from that, there are two systems which are currently present over North Indian Ocean. One is the well-marked low pressure area which is situated over Northeast Bay of Bengal and another is very serious cyclonic storm Bipad Joy which is situated over East Central Arabian Sea. If we see the weather which has been observed during past 24 hours, then if we see the uh, hailstorm activity, then it was observed over Himachal Pradesh, uh, western parts of the Madhya Pradesh and Madhya Maharashtra. Apart from that, heavy rainfall is observed over the northeastern parts of the country, that is over Assam and Meghalaya and over coastal Karnataka. If we talk about the temperature situation over the country, then you can see that most of the central and east part of the country, they are having the temperature in the uh, range of 42 to 44 degrees centigrade and in the other parts of the country, they were in the range of close to 40 degrees centigrade. If you see the heat wave conditions, observed heat wave conditions yesterday, then you can see that the heat wave to severe heat wave conditions was observed over uh, eastern parts of the country, particularly in the Bihar, East Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand, Gangetic West Bengal and Odisha. If we see the main uh, situation of the uh, southwest advancement of the southwest monsoon, then we see that the southwest monsoon, it has advanced further today, that is on 10th of June, it has covered entire uh, Kerala, it has covered most parts of the northeastern states and it has advanced to some more parts of the Arabian Sea as well as in the Bay of Bengal and it is expected that in the uh, next 48 hours it will further uh, advance further ahead because the conditions are going to be much more favorable for its advancement. If we see the uh, main synoptic features which are uh, impacting India today then we can see that there is a western disturbance which is situated around 55 degree east longitude which is uh, going to impact India region. Apart from that there is a cyclone circulation over Bihar and a north south trough which is originating from this cyclone circulation reaching up to the northern parts of Odisha. Apart from that, there is a well-marked low pressure area over northeastern uh, Bay of Bengal and adjoining southeast Bangladesh coast. Uh, also, there is one very serious cyclone, uh, cyclone storm, Bipar Joy, which is situated over uh, East Central Arabian Sea, it at 11.30 IST of today, its location was 16.8 degree north to six, and 67.4 degree east longitude. It is very likely to intensify further in, and move north, north, eastwards uh, gradually during the next 24 hours and what we are expecting is that after that for the next subsequent three days, it is likely to move gradually in the north, northwest directions. If we talk about the fisherman warning with respect to the uh, very severe cyclone storm before joy, then we have uh, issued fisherman warning particularly for the Saurashtra and Kutch coast that for the next uh, 5 days up to 15th, uh, no, uh, no fishing activity and fishermen should avoid going to this region because it could be, uh, have, it could experience very high speed winds. Also in the eastern and the western central Arabian Sea also, a lot of uh, fishing activities uh, should not be conducted due to the uh, threat from this particular very severe cyclone storm. For the other regions also, the warnings have been issued which can be seen in this map. If we talk about the warning for the next five days over the Indian over the Indian landmass land region, then we can say during the next five days we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over northeastern states, which you can see with the yellow color and with the orange color warnings over these regions. Also, we are expecting some isolated heavy rainfall activity over coastal Karnataka, Kerala region uh, during next two to three days. And with respect to heat wave, we are expecting heat wave activity to be seen over uh, Uttar Pradesh uh, on 10th and over Bihar. Uh, that is the eastern parts of the country, that is Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangetic West Bengal, Odisha, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Vidarbha during next two to three days. For any particular updates on this uh, weather features, you can log into uh, IMD's Twitter and Facebook handle. We will make again tomorrow, tomorrow with similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar Jai Hind.